Salvation is free, but following Jesus Christ is not free. There is a cost of discipleship. I want to ask you, if you are a believer and you come across this message, how did you believe? The foundation of your faith has a lot to do with everything you're going to lay on it. If the foundation is not solid enough, there could be probability of the whole thing you were building to crash. A lot of people's faith have crashed because they did not lay a good foundation. Let us look at the test for today. Luke chapter 14, 25 to 35. And there went great multitude with him. And he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me, and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. So Jesus Christ saw a multitude of people following him. Many people, they were following him. And he turned and said, listen, I guess some of you are following me, but you don't know the cost of following me. And I want to tell you the bitter truth. This is the bitter truth. If you must follow me, you must be ready to lose your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, and even your own self. You must hate yourself. You must be ready to hate yourself because there are times that decisions are going to come up in, all, in your life. And you will be demanded to choose between following me or rejecting me. So before you come to that point, before you come to meet with situations that will demand you choosing between following me or following your mother or obeying your sister or father or mother, you have to decide right now, and this is the truth, if you cannot Make up your mind after hearing this truth that a time is coming when you will be made to choose. A time of decisions will come when you will be made to decide either to save your life or to continue to follow Jesus Christ. That time will definitely come. Jesus Christ says the things that cause men to fall must surely come. Temptation must surely come. They will definitely come. So this is a time of decision. You are following me, a multitude. Let me tell you, Jesus is not interested in the multitudes. If not, he would have called thousands of people to be his disciples, but he chose only 12 to be with him. Just 12, 12 to be with him. Jesus is not interested in churches that are filled to the brink. He is interested in the few that are ready to follow him. He said, many are called, but few are chosen. He said, wherever two or three are gathered, not wherever multitudes are gathered in my name. No, wherever two or three are gathered in my name. Jesus Christ is not interested in the multitude who don't love him. He is interested in the few that follow him. <music>